All right, so today we've had a very fruitful harvest out in the forest, and we've come back with a whole slew of different medicinal mushrooms that we're actually gonna brew all together. Now, the whole idea behind brewing all these mushrooms together is each mushroom carries its intrinsic ability. Some are anti-mutagenic, some support your immune system, some clear out your lymphatic system of any blockages you may have. But the key is when you mix them all together, you create what actually Paul Stamets referred to as a host defense. That's a mixture of many different mushrooms coming together that each highlight and accentuate their other factors and other mushrooms and their benefits. So once in a while, I love doing this. Typically, I do like to do just a mono mushroom where it's like shaga just a brew of shaga, just a brew of reishi. But every so often you wanna give yourself that immune system punch and power yourself up by mixing all these different mushrooms together. So come take a look at what we have. We've chopped up a few of them already, but I'll show you what we're looking at here. The first mushroom up I wanna talk about is birch polypore. Now this mushroom grows on the same trees that shaga grows on. It's the ones we've chopped up right here. And this mushroom is incredible for actually brewing into teas. It's something that people pair up with things like shaga because typically, because it grows off the same tree, why not put it together? This has a lot of the anti-mutagenic components. We have this one, which is called Fomis fomtaris. Fomis fomtaris has similar components as the um, birch polypore in that it's anti-mutagenic, but it also has a lot of beta-glucans. Beta-glucans are these things that can charge up your white blood cells. Basically, your non-local immune system feeds off of being built up by your white blood cells. Your white blood cells go and fight off invaders. So when you drink mushrooms like Fomis fomtaris, which can grow off birch trees as well, this actually powers your immune system up and gives it the fuel. It almost is like giving your white blood cells bazookas to fight off invaders. Next is one that's actually originally found in Japan called Mishima. This mushroom, what it does is it actually cleans out your lymphatic system. So your lymphatic system is basically where a lot of poisons will end up if they can't get, if your energy and all the different antioxidants and enzymes and foods you eat, if the energy can't pass through the bloodstream, it ends up in the lymphatic system. Typically for most people, their lymphatic system has really never been drained properly. If you don't do this enough though, your lymphatic system can get blocked and that blocks the energy or the chi in your body. When you drink a mushroom like Mishima, it actually clears the lymphatic system. So your lymph nodes, you start to think they're in your neck, they're underneath your armpits. Typically when women have breast cancer, it's almost always because their lymphatic system has been blocked. Antiperspirants, uh, deodorants can actually block your lymphatic system. So that's why you wanna take these type of things that can clear that. Wheatgrass juice is also really good. Those type of high liquid nutrition diets can clear that, but having it in a mushroom form, that's what makes Mishima one of the top 10 medicinal mushrooms. And it's rare, you don't hear about this one a lot. You get Shaga gets the cred, Lion's Mane gets the cred, Cordyceps gets the cred. Mishima, not much cred, but starting to get lots of cred in Japan, for instance, where they're studying this. Next mushroom we have is Lion's Mane. They say Lion's Mane for the brain. Lion's Mane is very well studied. It's very popular in the uh, nootropics world because it has nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor has a unique element that can actually cross your blood brain barrier. Very few foods in nature can do this. Drugs, it takes millions of dollars in studies just trying to find things that can cross that blood brain barrier. That's something you don't want to cross naturally other than just a few substances and Lion's Mane is one of them. This can actually slow the onset of Parkinson's or any type of neurological disorder. This helps with people if they have issues with concentration, memory, or focus. This can dramatically help you be able to zone back in and tune back in. That's why people reportedly feel when they've either cooked lion's mane or brewed it, that this is one of the best things to help with their focus and their concentration. And then the last mushroom we have is turkey tail. This is a very classic mushroom. This has polysaccharide K. Polysaccharide K is the most sold cancer drug in all of Japan. Japan is 127 million population. So if you think of the number one drug that's used to fight off cancer is extracted directly from turkey tail, that says a lot. So we're gonna do a hot water extraction and because all these mushrooms are pretty gnarly, the flavor, we've actually mixed it with some yogi teas. So we got all types of stuff like carob in it, dandelion root, licorice. These are gonna, sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla juniper, juniper cardamom. cardamom. So it's a pretty strong tea already. And that's important because if you try to, the whole thing is, um, Ron Teagarden once said, the whole thing with herbalism is compliance. If you have the best supplement in the world in your cabinet, but it tastes so horrible and it's so hard to take that you only take it once and you're like, I don't even know if I can do that again. That herb or that product basically failed itself because it's the whole thing with herbalism. You wanna create a treasury or a bank or a war chest that you're constantly building up. You wanna create momentum with the herbs you're taking so you build your strength up preventatively so you don't come down with these issues later on in your life. So everything you're putting in the bank is like compound interest. So when we're putting all these mushrooms together and drinking it, we're creating that compound interest and building up the defense systems. But the key is if it doesn't taste good in any way whatsoever, you're not gonna to wanna to keep drinking it. 
That's why we're putting it with all these teas. That way you will wanna drink it. We're adding the vitamin C that comes naturally in lemon. That way it becomes more palatable and vitamin C makes a lot of the bioflanoids and some of the beta glucans more available in these mushrooms. So if you have lemon, you have lime, you have orange, you can actually mix that in. Even in um, a lot of Siberian shamanism, they use rose hips, very high in vitamin C to mix in with shaga tea. So now we're gonna actually put this in. Oh, and do you wanna actually come put it in? Sure. Yeah, or you can push in with your hand, your choice. And this is with a several yogi teas, like detox teas, Should all organic. Those teas before putting this in. That's okay. We're gonna filter everything as we do it. Right. Give it a rinse. Let's see Owen's knife skills. Is this what you do? Yeah. More? Yeah, the more surface area you can get, the better. Oh, so just totally. Yeah, yeah, you could just mush it. it. That's perfect. Okay. Now, the reason we're even putting this in the tea is key because what people don't realize is you should never eat mushrooms raw. Mm -hmm. The reason mushrooms are, you shouldn't be eating raw is because mushrooms have a cell wall called chitin. Even mitake? Even my take. Really? I eat uh, mitake raw. Or maybe I cook it. I can't remember. Yeah, it's one of those things where you see mushrooms in salads. Like you'll go to like sweet greens and you'll see like raw mushrooms in the salad. But the whole idea is you don't want to eat raw mushrooms because mushrooms have chitin cell wall. Mm -hmm. Especially the tree mushrooms have even stronger cell walls. Chitin's the same material that makes up a lobster shell or a, a crab shell. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't easily digest in your system. My theory is when people do do psychedelic mushrooms, the reason why they have issues and get these bad trips is because typically they have raw mushroom. And be, when you are on one of these psychedelic trips, typically people have very, very reactive bodies where they feel almost every little gust of wind hit them. So if your digestion system has been rocked from a psychedelic because you can't digest it because it's raw, you'll have a bad trip. So the thing is with the kite in the cell wall, you want to crack it. Hot water starts to crack that. And the longer you brew it, the better, because the so, more- So for people who do shrooms, they should drink it, you're saying? They should drink it as a warm tea. It's a much better experience. Really? Yeah, with lemon. Okay. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Someday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So right now we're doing the hot water extraction. This breaks the cell wall, so beta-glucans, trichirpenes, and polysaccharides, all the three most powerful elements that support your immune system, become available. We start to break it, it becomes available in the water. And when you drink it as a warm tea, it's also more absorbable than having it just as, let's say, a chopped up mushroom that's been cooked or sauteed. This is better because this fully breaks that down and extracts it. Now, if we had a little alcohol right now, like let's say a high-end Japanese whiskey or a rye or scotch, this would be awesome to actually add a couple ounces of that shot in there. We start to evaporate it off. The alcohol breaks down fat-soluble elements. These are like the beta-glucans. These are really hard to get things like betulinic acid you would find in shaga. It what can't- kind of, What kind of alcohol would we need? You, I would use the highest proof alcohol you could get, higher proof, higher percentage, because it has the more components to actually break it. Mm -hmm. And I would also get organic, because a lot of it out there is- But you'd put it in the drink? I would actually put it right in with the tea right now. Oh, let it boil it off so you don't off. have, like even your, your kids could have it at that point. There'd be no alcohol mm -hmm. content or less than a kombucha. Mm -hmm. But that breaks the fat soluble elements in the mushrooms because right now so we're what only you, getting- what, what would you put in like something right now? I put in one ounce. Okay. One ounce of like a high-end Japanese whiskey because you're usually done How with- How much more could we get out of it if we do that? We could be getting easily 50% more medicinal value just by doing that. 50%? Easily 50%. Okay. So this will still be very high, but it's just even- Extraordinarily more. high, yeah, okay. yeah. This is like more medicine than someone would get in a whole year. And like one tea. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then do you, um, should we go try to find like some store that's open right now? Or it's like, there might, find... I mean, we should, we'd be fine to see if drinking a tea. Yeah, yeah, I'd be kind of yeah, crazy to like do it right Walgreens now. Walgreens or something? Ibrahim, is there like a Walgreens open or? There's a 24 hour grocery store that it's undertaken. How far? What does it look like to you? Just like a mash of things or do you see the medicine in it? Uh, to me, I have such little context for this at the top level of the process, right? Like I buy the tinctures at the end or I get your stuff. Right. But I don't um, see it at this level. So for me, it's just like, Cool. Yeah, like basically, and the tincture is the way someone would do this. Typically, we just do this hot water extraction. Mm. You filter all the mushrooms out. Mm. Then you take those mushrooms after the cell wall has been cracked from the hot water. Mm. You take those dry mushrooms mm. after you've dried them, and then you put it in with alcohol. Mm -hmm. What's this? Is that bark? Yeah, birch bark. Yeah, a little oh. birch bark. Cool. That, that brings in the betulinic that... acid. Got it. So how strong of a drink is this going to be like? This is going to be in insane. <laughs> like, this is insane. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is not yeah. beginner. This yeah. is like... Shit. Uh, this is advanced rishi inside. You don't want to put the rishi inside? Where is the rishi? Right here. Oh, that's the red belt of polypore. Yeah, we should put a little of that in there too. Yeah, will this keep us up at night? Uh, no, no caffeine. Nope. Like the only stimulation. It's not a central nervous system stimulant or whatever. No. Exactly. Other way. Yeah. Bring it towards it. Yeah. yeah but. Like... 
Just yeah. swipe. I don't know if that's the best knife. Yeah. You might need to kind of stab. You're going to stab all the way. Just be careful you don't cut a finger on this. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> well, it's just like, it's, yeah, all, it's always like a dumb subject that gets you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's never like Sorry, you stuff. hiking like through the grizzly yeah. or through like, yeah, yeah. you know, the bridge where like there's like the sides like this wall. It's always like the yeah. knife where you cut your finger and then you bleed out or something. Apparently more people lose their eyes from trying to cut a pineapple and then or a watermelon. They go like this and then pull it back trying to pull the I, knife. That'd be me. <laughs> that'd be that's how I know. <laughs> Is that Simone? Yeah. That yeah. Be yeah, yeah, that's great. Should we wash it or no? No, throw it right in, bro. Okay. Vitamin B3. Here's a cool thing to know too about these giant pieces. Even if you weren't gonna brew all this, mm. you could actually bathe in this. Mm. So you could actually bring this into your bath and drop in the mushroom with you because they'll release a lot of the antioxidants that are uh, soluble for your skin. Oh wow. Years ago, I had all the guys at Nike swimming, <laughs> sw bathing in red belted polypore tea. You don't wanna just drink the tea, you wanna be in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be the tea. That's the new guy. <laughs> so exactly. Be in the tea. Be in the tea. Yeah. Black magic.